feeling lost, stuck, or unmotivated in your homemaking? Today I'm sharing some tips to help you beat those homemaker blues. I always want to be honest with you here on the channel, and lately I'd found myself in a bit of a rut. I'd lost my purpose as a homemaker, and it wasn't a good feeling. So in today's video, I'll be sharing some tried and true ideas for when you need encouragement as a homemaker, because we all go through that. At some this video is more about feeling stuck in a rut and when you're in need of homemaker motivation. I'm not talking about serious depression or issues like that. If you have these kinds of issues, I encourage you to talk to a professional. My first idea for getting rid of the homemaker blues is just to pause and put it in reverse. What's been going on in your life lately? Take time to think about and evaluate it. For me, I realized that I haven't been spending time with God. It starts small. I skip a day of reading my Bible and devotional and nothing happens. But then I skip two, three, four days. And before I know it, I'm drifting far away from God. So I start to question why I'm even a homemaker. Maybe I should go get a real job. Maybe I should quit this YouTube channel. Does it even make a difference? But you know our old friend, the enemy, he's waiting. He is waiting for times like this and he loves to get inside our head. My second idea is to give yourself some grace because girl beating yourself up won't help anything. Tip number three is to reconnect with the power source. Spend time talking to God, pray, tell him what's on your heart, pick up your Bible and start reading again. And when I did this, I felt a huge burden being lifted off of me. God is strong enough to handle your pain, your worries, and your anxiety. I wanted to share some of my favorite Psalms with you. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. Psalm 62, 5. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 105. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. Psalm 91, 4. Idea number four. Now that we're feeling better, let's find things that bring us joy and get reacquainted with them. Simple things like a trip to the library to check out books on the topic that interest you. I checked out these books on cottage decorating. Spend time in nature by going on a walk all by yourself and talking to God. Go out for coffee, tea, or your favorite dessert. One thing that helped me to break out of this rut was to go back and look at my homemade journal. I like to write a quote or a Bible verse, something I did that day, and then something I'm grateful for. And looking at this little book reminds me that I'm so blessed and life truly is good. I've shared these little notebooks on the channel before, but I purchased the cover and the printables on Etsy. And then the Traveler's Notebook is on Amazon. And I'll have all of these things linked for you below. It's so fun to do paper crafts, but you don't have to make your notebook fancy like this. You can just use a plain notebook and write down Bible verses, something you're thankful for, and something good that happened on each day. So the cover just fits on like this. 
You would need to trim it and tape it down, and I love to use this double-sided tape. I have a few supplies, just some rubber stamps, scissors, and some glue. I didn't want to go too crazy with it, I just wanted to keep it simple. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer. I'm so happy you're here. I'm a wife, mama, and homemaker. While I've been a stay-at-home mom for many years, I really didn't understand what homemaking is. I've been on a homemaking journey and I'm inviting you to come along with me and we'll grow together. Now that I have peace in my heart, I can begin again. It's never too late to start over. Let's get back to our homemaking and find our joy and purpose again, because homemaking is the most important work there is. My daughter Maggie's birthday was this month, so I got to put my renewed attitude to work and I threw a birthday dinner and baked her a homemade cake. And then I got to do it all over again a few days later when it was my son Jack's birthday. The best things in my life, besides my salvation, is my family and my home. And I hope you feel that way too. Remember, no matter what you see on social media, nobody's life is perfect. And we're all just trying to do the best we can. I wanted to share a book that I've been reading with y'all. Now, I don't do new age stuff and I don't put things out into the universe and sprinkle some glitter on it. I do common sense things and I talk to God. This book is called Atomic Habits by James Clear and it's a real common sense book. What he talks about in the book is how you can change your life by implementing small habits and trying to get 1% better each day. Now I know for a fact that that is true before I even read this book, I spent three years reading through the Gospels. Yes, three years reading through four books of the Bible. But what I would do was read just a small section each day, and then I would rewrite what I had read and what I had learned in a notebook. And at the end of the three years, my relationship with God was so much better. So I know that that what he's saying is true. And he also says that your habits don't also have to be good. Your bad habits also affect you. And I know that's true too, because when I had stopped reading my devotional for a week or maybe even more than a week, I saw myself going in reverse, going the other direction. So um, if you've read this book, tell me down in the comments and if you are interested in the book, I'll have it linked down in the description box for you. Friends, I want us all to be thriving homemakers. Sometimes we'll stumble and that's okay. God is always right there to catch us. All we have to do is ask. If you'd like to see how I started on this homemaking journey, I'll have that video linked for you and I'll see you back in two weeks.